Hey guys, so I am back with another video. I'm finally finding time to film and the craziness that the past few weeks have been. So uh, last time I updated you guys, um, I was doing my birth video and I know I left a lot of things out of there. One thing I didn't say in that video is that the babies were still at the hospital and they ended up being there for 41 days by the time that they got discharged. So there was constantly a lot of running back and forth between my house and the hospital and going to Josh's school to get him and bring him back here. And so honestly, um, filming just wasn't on the top of my priorities list. But now the babies are finally home. So today is... What's today? Hey Josh, what's the date today? Uh, April 7th. April 7th? Okay, today's April 7th, it's Sunday, and they have been home since, I want to say, Monday. So, almost a week. Tomorrow, it'll be a week. Um, and what happened was, Zeke actually came home Monday night, and Luke came home Tuesday night. So, we had one night with one baby, and then ever since, we've had two babies here every single night. So, it has been literally crazy. I have lost so much sleep. Um... I think in total every night I get like four hours um, if I'm lucky, but um, you know, part of the job. So I do apologize for my absence from YouTube. Um, I just told myself that I needed to get into somewhat of a routine before I got back to filming and I hope you guys understand that. You guys have been so kind and supportive and I know everyone's telling me to just take some time and figure out what's going on with the babies and that's what I've been doing. I'm still actually having to go to a bunch of doctor's appointments just because one of the babies Luke still is having a little bit of some issues, so he's going to see actually a liver specialist this upcoming week, and I have like four doctor's appointments. Still crazy, still not really in a great routine, just a loosely somewhat kind of upkept schedule with them, but yes. So today I have Josh with me, but he is sadly going back to his college tonight since it's Sunday and he has school tomorrow. Okay, I need to sit down. I'm so tired. I was standing. So today he is going back to school. But before he goes back to school, we are going to do a bunch of shopping today. Just because in the past few days we've realized a few things that we really wanted that we haven't got yet. And so we're going to go to a bunch of stores. And we're actually trying out a stroller for the first time. Before this, we've only left the house with the babies once since they came home, and that was to go to Target, and it was a learning experience getting the car seats into the car with the babies and getting the car seats into shopping carts because we didn't have a stroller yet, and we put the car seats in the back of little shopping carts, and yeah, it was a little crazy. So we have a basically a stroller base that the car seats snap into and I was just learning how to use it and it's so easy surprisingly so packed that in my car so it's sitting there ready to go for as soon as we hit our first store. I'm super excited to be filming again um, and I'm just so excited to show the babies like on camera officially now that they're home and today I'm also going to be filming a Q&A just because you guys actually had a lot of really good questions that I really want to answer for you um, about my postpartum stuff with the babies and just a lot of questions about the birth that um, are interesting I think and that I didn't answer so I'm gonna be filming that today with Josh and obviously Josh is gonna be in this vlog with me and yeah and then after after Josh leaves for college tonight I'm going to keep filming I am up all the time and I'll explain their schedule a little bit later in the video when it actually comes to getting them to bed and then um, their feeding schedule all throughout the night which means me getting up and having to change and feed both of them every three hours but we are about to go to the first store and I think that it's going to be bye bye baby I think that's gonna be the first store so yeah I'll see you guys there all right only like our third attempt getting them into their car seats we put these in here just because they were sliding down so bad, like their 
their chin was touching their, their chest because they were sliding so bad. So we put these in here. Hopefully that will help. We should put that bird cloth so it doesn't get yeah. spit up everywhere. Yeah. So turn. sleepy. Got I know. Let's see. Here you go. Yeah. One arm. Two arms. You want to move your arm out? Come on. Yeah, it looks better. Yeah. Just gotta get That's over his shoulders. And then I'll readjust it in a sec. I just want to get him situated a bit. Alright, let's go get the other guy. All set up. Number one. Who's so awake? Baby number two. Who's so awake? Wanna say hi? Good boy. Ready? You ready, Papa? I'm gonna go for a ride. Mm -hmm. mm. Alright, ready? Mm -hmm. Hi! Good boy. Hi! What is this? He's like, what is this? <laughs> Looking around. Okay. And this guy's just chilling. <laughs> He's still sleeping. Little yeah, guy. so this is, this is. Zeke. The little Zeke, he's always a lot less right now than his brother, who's chubby chubs over here. Chubby chubs. Oh, there was a two. I heard it. Came here for just because with two of them I need my hand sometimes to have one of them on me and then help the other one. That's the main issue I've been finding. I'm just hoping that they fit. I think I'm gonna go. I don't really know too much about the differences between like this one and then an evolution one, but this one that says slips on like a t-shirt and then this one's like an actual wrap, I think. part we just got him in and now I have to take both of them out and put it back in the car. <laughs> there you go. Oh the other one. Okay. You got it? Good. Gotta look at them. All good. They are still sleepy. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now we have to put this back. And then we went to like three other stores so that we do this process like six more times in and out. <laughs> Alright, so we just had like a two minute drive to Target and now we are about to do it. The whole process of getting the babies in and out of the car all over again. <laughs>
just got back and we our alarm just went off that it's time to feed them because I have alarms set every three hours in my phone because that is when they need to eat and every three hours they are usually pretty hungry so now we have to feed them but I also pump every three hours so when Josh is here I pump and he does their diapers and will change their clothes if there's a lot of spit up on it from the last time. Um, it's okay. By the time that they are done being changed, I'm usually done pumping and I have their bottles all prepared and ready to go for them. There we go. And then the wipes are right here. pumping Josh finished changing the babies and now their bottles are in the warmer but um as I mentioned earlier Luke is having some minor health issues um, I'm not going to go into detail about it just because I don't even really know what's going on the hospital did it and that's why he's going to a specialist this week but he is taking four different medicines a day and two of those medicines he's taking twice a day um I just have to remember every day um that he has to have those and then his brother um, Zeke is taking two medicines a day. He only takes it once, so he's a lot easier. So I have to basically do um, Luke's medicines three times a day because I put two together at a time. I don't do more than two mixed together. So that is what I'm about to do right now. One of the medicines is super, super, super disgusting. It smells disgusting. I really can't handle the smell of it. It's that bad. So I have Josh. Um, feed him when that medicine's in the milk and yeah and also I didn't really touch on the fact that I am well I guess I would say I'm nursing because I'm not breastfeeding I am pumping and then obviously giving them that milk through bottles um the reason I decided to do this was really just because with them being preemies I wasn't able to even attempt to breastfeed until about a month into their um hospital stay so by the time that we had come around to be able to try to breastfeed I'd gotten so used to my pumping schedule and breastfeeding with them was honestly such a but it was pretty much it was a it was a little bit of a struggle. They just weren't grasping the concept of latching, and they did much much better um, on bottles, like directly from the first time that they got their first bottle. So as long as they were getting my milk, that's what I was comfortable with. And so I just decided let's just stick with pumping. I it makes it more organized for me. I get to just have all their bottles prepared and ready to go when they need it. Um, and pump in the free time that I have like in between their feeds so that's what I'm doing and so far I've been able to keep up with their needs with how much they need um each day but my production in the first month or so was much bigger than what it is right now so I have a really big stash but I'm kind of worried that I may have to start digging into that stash a little bit sooner than I wanted just because I don't know if I'll be able to keep on consistently keeping up with how much they need each day. Oh. Alright, so I just got done with all of the bottle stuff. Josh is finishing feeding them right now and burping them currently. Let's see. But I wanted to do a quick haul just because I got some things today that I'm um, kind of actually super excited about. You guys saw earlier I was looking for a baby wrap and I ended up getting this one. It's the Moby wrap and I've heard that it's really good. So I'm going to attempt to figure out how to use this. 
in a second. I'm really excited. And from Target, I just got a new hair straightener because mine just broke and it's really sad because I straighten my hair a lot because my natural hair is super just like weirdly frizzy, kind of like wavy, poofy. So I straighten my hair a lot of the time. And cookies. Also from Bye Bye Baby, I am kind of struggling with like a system on how to... I'm like what bottles to use to feed them and when and how I want to clean them and sterilize and how and when I want to sterilize them. I probably maybe found some stuff that will probably help me with that. So I got a tool to help clean and I like it just because it has the sponge at the bottom because I have one right now but it doesn't have the sponge and the bottom of the bottles are always just like really gross. So Hopefully this will help clean because I did one really big load of like all these dirty bottles I had and I was so bad at myself it took me a while there was a lot and then I let it dry and I came back to it and it was so gross on the inside there was still all of this stuff stuck onto the sides and it kind of just looked like milk residue maybe even like some soap like it was a struggle so I had to re-clean all of those and still I'm not like satisfied so I got this and then I also got this and I've never heard of this before but it's a Medela quick clean micro steam bag and basically it says that it's for breast pump and milk feeding accessories and also along with all of the bottles I am struggling in cleaning like the breast pump pieces just because obviously I use it all the time every day um but so they get really dirty really fast and it's hard to clean like all the little nooks and crannies so I'm hoping that this will help lastly a nursing bra just because you can never have enough of these I get I keep using sports bras and it's not really that convenient so I and I hate buying new nursing bras just because they're kind of fancy but I didn't use it and yeah there's little Loki oh, hi Papa hi there Papa. you go kind of looking so cute good job buddy burping him and this guy somehow kind of went back to sleep he was really fussy he's all right i have the wrap there's the bottom it is so long i feel like i'm too small for this yeah one size fits all yeah well <laughs> yep <laughs> okay so this is my first attempt at getting it and i'm trying to look in the mirror but oh my. i think he's happy i don't know i think his feet are a little not right. It's comfortable. Yeah. Oh my god. Doesn't look bad. If he settles down. Okay, let's. I mean, try and those that. straps that are like hanging on. I want to try it again. Okay. Here we are. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. That is so strange. You can't have your hands on it. That's the whole point. There you go. Hands free, baby. Now, if now if one of them is like getting really angry about something you just throw them in the sack I can, no i can put torture. one in here and then i can go get the other one Mr. how are you gonna hold that guy okay now i won't hold him but i'm like oh hi it's okay <laughs> oh i'll touch your head hey papa i'm gonna go walk around my house on this wow look at that guy don't mm -hmm. fall out let's get a close-up good job <gasps> Hi guys, so right now it is almost 8 o'clock at night and I am already so tired. Um, normally, before the babies came home, I was up to like at least 11 or 12 every night and now by the time it's like 8 or 9, I am so ready to go to sleep. But basically, just a little rundown since the last time I filmed, we, me and Josh just basically watched a movie we held the babies until they fell asleep and now i have one sitting right next to me he's asleep and then another one downstairs with my grandma who's also asleep and i have all these alarms in my phone basically every three hours i have an alarm and the next one that's going to be going off is at 9 30 so i have an hour and a half and then i have to change both of them and then i have to feed both of them and pump um at 9 30 so i was gonna try to film all throughout the night but it's really just the same exact thing 
every three hours, nothing special. I just have to get my butt out of bed. Except they actually don't really love their cribs and it's kind of a struggle to get them to go to sleep. So what I have been doing, although it may be controversial and I was actually told by the hospital many times not to go to sleep, but I have been holding the baby in bed with me for maybe 30 minutes to an hour until he falls asleep and then um, putting him in his crib as quietly as I can so that they don't wake up. But it seems to be the only way I can really get them to quietly sleep in their crib without getting really upset. So this is such a learning experience. There are so many things that I've had to go to like my mom for help with and even like online just because they're sleeping habits and I have so many questions but it really is just like a learning experience and I'm getting used to, I'm getting to know them really I'm getting to know them a lot better and figure out where they're comfortable and what they like what they don't like what helps them get to sleep so yeah I've absolutely loved having them home but um, as everyone knows, just the amount of sleep you lose is just insane, but I've weirdly had a lot of energy during the day. I just crash really early at night. Yeah, honestly, really good boys. They really don't cry. Boys, the only times I'll really hear them cry is when they're super hungry and they really want a bottle, but then the bottle is in their mouth and they are done. I've never had a real issue with, like, not able to, like, soothe them or calm them down. As soon as I pick one of them up, they instantly stop crying when josh is here it's a really big help because he actually is able to like change and feed both of them if i just get the bottles ready and pump and then i can just go to sleep um because five days of the week i'm doing this by myself um the babies are right across the hall from me so if one of them cries or wants a bottle or like before the three hour mark that's me getting up by myself doing it all so he's obviously very appreciative of it um he has to be at school until he's finished and josh's school situation is actually changing he's not going to the school that he's at right now next year he is going to be transfer transferring to a college that's right next door to us so he's going to be coming back here and where he'll be able to be with me and the babies every single day and we're going to do a whole video on that talking about our future plans because we have a lot of them um actually super super excited because I've hated having him at college even before um the babies were here like it was always such an issue with us we went from seeing each other every single day to two days a week having him come back here next year is just making me so happy and it's pushing me through these weeks where I'm alone right now a lot of people probably think that since I'm living with my mom that I'm getting a lot of help from her um that's really not the case my mom actually is gone a lot of the time not at the house and especially at night she comes some kind of late sometimes um and she also works late sometimes and um when she goes to bed she goes to bed she does not wake up even for those babies crying so i will see you guys later tonight when it's time to feed them and change them hey guys so i am so tired right now it's about 9 30 in the morning um it's time to feed and change them and i'm sorry i didn't film last night but i was so exhausted and it's really just the same thing over and over and over again um except me like half asleep so i decided that i would just film one more time right now and then i think that will be the end of this vlog He's such a good boy. It's a little bit past 9.30 and he's still sleeping. So he's been really good for me. And then his brother right across the hall.
hi to mommy? Can you say hi to mommy? Huh? Mm -hmm. Say hi, mama. Hi. All right, you can steal them. I guess. Alright, so that is it for today's vlog. I know it's kind of a weird way to end it, but I see that my camera is about to die and I don't have another charged battery, so I think I'm just going to end it right here. I hope you guys liked this vlog. I know it was the first video with the baby, so I was really excited to do it. I hope it was interesting. Um, we have a lot more ideas coming, but I just decided that we haven't had a video out in so long, so I would do a nice, like, relaxed so video so we'll have a lot more coming so please stick around and I hope you want to see more say bye say bye bye guys bye guys i'll see you next time